The question I have for you is, are you devoting yourselves to the scriptures, to prayer, and to fellowship? Yo, what is up, everyone? It's Andrew with Unashamed Encouragement. So thankful that you decided to tune in today. If this is your first time, welcome. So glad to have you here. And for all you returning, loyal, faithful subscribers, I love y'all. And thank you for being here and supporting and just growing in your faith journey as I just do my best uh, to share God's truth and word. Remember, make sure that you stay until the very end where I take some time to pray over each and every one of y'all. So we are going to be continuing in the book of Acts, and today we got a good one. So let's jump right in. All right, so we are going to be reading from Acts chapter 2, starting at verse 42. All the believers devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and a fellowship and to the sharing in meals, including the Lord's Supper, and to prayer. Such a good word. Such a good word today. Basically, here in Acts, this is the beginning of the, uh, the Christian church, as we know it. These were the first, uh, you know, church members, if you will. They were forming a church. And what did they do? They devoted themselves well, what did they devote themselves to? To the apostles' teaching, to fellowship, to sharing in meals, and to prayer. And I've just found this, like, this disconnect with Christians uh, and how we kind of fellowship, right? Like, why are we no longer devoted in this deep sense of prayer for one another, sharing of meals with each other, getting into getting into the scriptures together. You know, it's almost like we, we go to church on Sunday, we do our little thing, we might have a Bible, Bible study, and that's kind of it. We're really not engaged deeply with other believers, sharing meals, opening up, sharing our story, hearing stories, sharing our hurts, sharing our pains. We need to become so devoted to one another so that we can encourage and we can uplift, so that we can be more effective to reach others. I mean, wouldn't that be so attracting if you just saw a group of people who truly loved each other, who truly helped one another, and who truly were like family, all rooted in Jesus Christ? So that's my encouragement is it's so cool because we, we can be game changers. We can be the, the difference makers. That's what's so awesome is go out, you know, like t text, text a friend, set up a meal, start praying for others, get a prayer journal, get a prayer list, whatever it looks like, right? And we can start really devoting ourselves to each other and really building deep, meaningful relationships where we know where we know people truly know people think about church look around your church next time how many of those people do you actually know their life story you know their pains you know their struggles you know what 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 they're going through a lot of the times we don't know that so let us grow to live like acts 2 all the believers devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to fellowship and to sharing in meals and to prayer. It's time we rise up. It's time we rise up as a church and as a body of believers and truly love one another. So that's the encouragement. You can make the difference today. Set something up. Start praying. All right. I love all y'all so much. Um, so let's just take some time to pray and, and, and let the Holy Spirit minister to each and every one of us. All right. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are such a good God, Lord. We love you. We worship you. We honor you. We praise you, Lord. Father, give us a heart. Give us a heart for other believers 
in our in our churches, Lord, in our circle of influence, Lord, just our friends, anyone, Lord. Give us a heart to truly love them, to truly get to know them. Lord, just 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 give us that longing to build deep relationships, Lord, so that we can be encouraged, we can be sparred on. As iron sharpens iron, so one man sharpens another, Lord. And that's what you call us to do as the body, as the church, Lord, to, to, to come together in unity and then to make a difference out into the world, Lord. So, Father, I just pray for everyone who's listening, Lord. Minister to them in, in unique ways, Lord. Just give ideas on how they can reach out to build relationships and to grow, Lord. Father God, we love you, we thank you, and we praise you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen, amen. Thank you so much for tuning in. It's always a pleasure. I love each and every one of you. And remember, if you have put your faith in Jesus Christ, you are chosen, you are loved, you are forgiven, you are cherished, and you are made new. If you haven't put your faith in Jesus Christ, just come below, say, hey, what is this whole faith thing? And I will love to reach out with you and uh, talk to you about the goodness and the kindness and the love and the sacrifice Jesus has made for each and every one of y'all. Have a blessed day and we shall see you soon. Peace.